and welcome to Yarn Lane. Oh, it's so exciting, isn't it? This is our second Yarn Lane show. Um, really pleased with the first one. We had some lovely feedback off all of you. Everyone who posted on the Facebook page, thank you so much. It's really nice to see that you enjoyed it. Helen was brilliant, wasn't she? I was so pleased because it's hard. I was hard to see how it would show with the demo getting really close to the camera work. But um, those kits that we did with her flew out. I think we sold out of all of them in about 15 minutes. But I've had a word with Helen. She's actually on with us next Wednesday and hopefully, I mean she's got brand new kits, all Christmas next week, but hopefully she's going to try and bring back a few more. So today I thought, because I wanted to sort of show you what Yarn Lane is going to be about, obviously on Monday we gave you, you know, a new designer kits, learn to crochet, so obviously I said to you it's all going to be about teaching, but it's also going to be about being a service to you, an inspiration, so I've spent the last few weeks ordering loads of products, I've had so much fun, I've been, it's like being a kid in a sweet shop, but they just gave me a big catalogue so I've ordered all the sort of tools and gadgets and things that I really like and also I've spent the last few weeks speaking to all the knitting and crochet designers that we're going to be bringing to you on air and asking them what they like and what they would recommend and what are their favourite tools so putting all of that together I did a big shop had what a lot of fun anyway um, I'm going to start off with storage now this actually is my favourite thing well it says wool on it so obviously it's brilliant for storage um, but look, it's only $15.99. It's got a drawstring, which is brilliant. So you just pull it up and you can, you can use it to store your latest project. What's great about it is if you're doing one of these big crochet blankets, maybe you've joined a crochet along or a knit along um, and you want to store everything in it, it's big enough for that so that when you've finished of an evening, you can just shove it down the side of the sofa and it looks quite nice. But actually, it's a really, you know, it hangs on, hangs on really well. It'd be quite good as a shopping bag as well, wouldn't it? be really useful but really lovely bag anyway it's made from um, a very neutral hessian fabric with the black um, drawstring top all the seams inside this is important because you don't want it all catching on your crochet hooks and your knitting needles they're all bound inside so it's really really neat but I chose it because it's big enough to fit lots and lots of stuff in and it says wool but you could use it for anything, couldn't you? But really, really, really nice bag. So that's your sort of large project bag, perfect for knitting, crochet, or anything you want, really. You could use it for your sewing as well. Um, then I've got these two bags. Now, I quite like... I'm going to show you these together because they match. They do different things, but they match. Now, anyone who knits and crochets knows, particularly if you've got a cat, when, you, when you're knitting and you've got your yarn... Let me find a ball of yarn and I'll show you. Here's one I found earlier. Um, it rolls around the floor, rolls off, the cat runs off with it. You don't know where it is. But you can put it in here and it has a hole in the top to put your yarn through. So I wonder whether I have to, I'm have to take the wrapper off that to find, there's the end. So when you're knitting, well, obviously you can store your yarn in here. You can get one massive ball. You could probably get a few in there if you wanted to put your project in. You can get a crochet hook or something else inside there as well. But really, you put your, thread the yarn up through the hole like this, and then you zip it up. And then when you're knitting, you just pull it off through the thing. And it just keeps it clean and keeps it tidy. And on the pattern on it, the reason I chose this one, it features lots and lots of different colored balls of yarn and needles. Can you see? Can you see that? Okay. So you've got all the needles on there as well. So it's a really nice print. It's a lovely soft cotton. It's not a PVC, it's just a cotton. And it's got this um, double-ended zip. There we go. And, and, and it's fully lined as well, so it won't catch on anything. So it's a really good quality product. Brilliant for storing your yarn. Now it also comes, you can buy as well, I chose this one because this is your nice knitting bag. Brilliant matching set, perfect gift for somebody if you want to, so you know someone is a knitter or a crochet or a yarner and they want to make this. So you've got a nice lot of space inside. Again, it's fully lined and all the seams are bound so you know it's quality. But what you've also got at the front is a big zip pocket. And when you open all of that up, you can store all your knitting needles inside. Now, I had some here earlier. I don't know what I've done with them. Hmm, don't know where they've gone. Well, I've got one spare one, just to show you that in there's a pocket in here, 
so you can store all your knitting needles on them. If you wanted to keep this permanently and you wanted to use it for needles and the size, you could always write on these with a um, permanent pen what the size are. Or you can just open it and store them and zip it if you've got some loose ones. So, so maybe you've got some circular needles as well that won't fit in here where you want to put a pair of scissors or um, fold up your pattern or something. You can put it in there and zip it up. But there are one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight pockets. And obviously you can see these will take um, up to about a 40 centimetre length needle. So I won't have lost that. So if this is the first time you've watched Yarn Lane, let me just give you a few housekeeping things. You can send me any messages, message the studio, studio at yarnlane.com. So if you've got any questions or you want to comment or you want to show me what you've made, we would love to see your makes, whether you know knitting and crochet or any of the other yarn crafts. If you do a bit of latch hooking or macrame, do show it to us. Um, you can follow us on Facebook, Yarn Lane TV. Or you can Instagram us, or you can follow us on Instagram at Yarn Lane TV as well. You know, which we're wanting to build with Yarn Lane in the same way as Sewing Street. We want to build a big community. You know, we are, the purpose of us being here is we're here to sort of inspire and educate and teach and show you products and provide a service of things that you want. So get in touch, let us know what is it you want, what are you doing? Um, if you, for shopping with us, we've got our own website, which is quite exciting. So www.yarnlane.com, all the products that I'm talking about today and many, many more besides, many, I've, I've spent a lot of time buying all the sort of the basic products you'll need. You can buy them from there. This is what it looks like. There's all the different tabs across the top with the different tools and notions and kits and all the things that you can buy. Um, you can watch us live. So if you click on that button there, you watch us live. And there you are. And there's so you can that you can send a message from there. You can see the products are in the show. So you can see the on the top right, you can see the um, the yarn bag I'm talking about at the moment. There's the wool bag below. And if you scroll down, you'll see all the products that we're selling. Um, now remember that there's only one P and P. It's three ninety five a day. But it's not just from Yarn Lane. We're together with Sewing Street. So if you've bought, for example, the early bird at eight o'clock this morning on Sewing Street and you've paid your three ninety five postage with that, anything that you buy now, it counts as the whole thing. So it goes across both channels. So it really is worth once you've paid your three ninety five one, and remember to check out, but you can check out as many times as you want. You can check out up to midnight and you will only get charged at 3 95 whether you buy on Sewing Street or Yarn Lane. doesn't really matter. Okie dokie. That's all the boring stuff over. Quite important, but not as interesting as knitting bags. So that's those two. I love the print on this because it's really sort of bright and cheerful. Nice handles. Um, pink, blue and orange. And really useful. I like that. But this bag, this next bag I'm going to show you, is this woolly sheep, woolly woolly sheep one. So it's exactly the same as the the yarn bag that I've just shown you, but it's beautiful, isn't it? So it's it's re a lovely bright turquoise aqua colour with lots of woolly sheep. It's got the handle. It's got piping round the edges. Now you'll notice that this one is more expensive than the last one for a very good reason. Not just because it's got sheep on it. Not just because it's sheep. So if I open the zip pocket here, that goes exactly the same as that and goes all the way around. <gasps> Look at that. It comes with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pairs of needles. Already filled with bamboo needles that range, and I looked at this earlier, but I'm just going to check. Uh, oh, actually, they're written on the side, aren't they? Because um, I did look at it. From 3 mil all the way up to 6 mil. So you've got 3, 3.25, 3.75, 4, 4.5, 5, 5.5 and, and 6. So isn't that lovely? So you obviously, you know, these pockets are quite big. If you want to then put your own needles, look, you can get two or three pairs in each pocket. I won't mix them up because I get confused. But you can get a few pairs in each pocket. So this is lovely. It's a great gift for someone who likes knitting or wants to start knitting, but it, it just makes it really, because they're beautiful quality needles, they're the lovely bamboo. And what I like as well is that they've got the numbers printed on them, because sometimes they have them on the ends and they're not as easy to see, but they are actually printed on. I'm going to show you it on the bigger one because you can see it better, but the numbers, the size are actually printed on it. 
which is really helpful, isn't it? So that you can see straight away that that's a six mil needle. And I've got it upside down because I'm showing it to you and not to me. There you go. So there you go. So it shows you the size of them. So this is the perfect lockdown gift, isn't it? You know, we've got four weeks where we've got to stay in. Let's start doing knitting. So if you know you you need to have all the needles because you know what it's like when you're knitting something, you follow the pattern, you do your tension square you're using your four mil new four mil needles, you realise it's way too big, but you haven't got any 3.75s at home. So you have to do it and then the tension's all wrong. So if you don't if you haven't knitted, you'll wonder what on earth I'm talking about. But if you do knit, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But you do need to change your needle size or your hook size if your tension isn't the same as the pattern tension. So it's always really useful to have needles either side of the ones you're doing. But this is just lovely, isn't it? It's a real treat, a treat for yourself or for someone else. So you could buy some yarn. I've got a massive ball of yarn here. Look at it, even nice colour. Huge. I can get that in and more besides. And you can put your patterns in. But this is what I would give as a gift for someone. Even if they knitted, I'd put a few balls of yarn in, get a pattern. And it's got all the needles, so you don't need to bother them. That's a lovely, easy to wrap as well, isn't it? It's a really nice, it's not PVC, it's a it's really smooth, lovely cotton fabric. And it's got that pocket on the side that zips all the way around. But that's lovely. So let's talk, let's do some more sheep. More sheep. So this is, it's the same as the other one, it's a yarn holder. Isn't it lovely? It's a real mint, well I shouldn't say mint, it's a grass green. It's a grass green with, sh and the background of it has got like um, a knitting print, all the V's of the knitting on it, and sheep, and it says, so knit yarn with little daisies, and the stitch is written in stitches, and the yarn looks like a knit and little hearts. This is like, um, the inside is fully lined in a really lovely grey spot that goes really well with it, and again, the seams are bound, which is always important to me. I think a lot of us sewers and knitters, we always look at things and go, have they bound the seams? Nice and neat. But the out, the inside is, a co is cotton, but the outside is a, um, a PV, not a PVC, but a finished cotton, so it's weatherproof, waterproof, washable wipe down so if you're going to take it anywhere where you think it might get a bit dirty and it might need cleaning maybe you're knitting in the car or you're going on holiday with it or you're knitting on the beach perfect but it's got the hole in the top there so you can put your yarn in so where's your favorite place to knit i don't know where is see that's the beauty that's why i love knitting and crochet because it's so portable I mean, I love sewing, obviously, but you can't take your sewing machine on the train with you. But it's so portable. It's great, you know, if you're going to you're going away for a, a weekend. Whenever I go on holiday, do you always have a holiday project? I always do. It's usually a crochet thing, but I always have a holiday project. It's really nice. I've, I remember knitting a Christmas tea cosy on holiday in Italy one year. It was really hot, and I was knitting all the um, baubles for the Christmas tea cosy. But when it came to Christmas, I'd finished it. So where do you like to knit and crochet the most? But that's a lovely, again, nice gift for yourself, but a really nice gift for some for somebody who, you know, who you know likes knitting and crochet wants to start. It's a really nice gift because it's not always something that you have as a yarn holder, but it's something you definitely need. Right, and my final piece of storage, I love this one. So, love this one. So this has got knitting sheep all over it. Can you see the print? There's all these sheep with glasses they're obviously sheep like me who can't see and have to wear their glasses and they're all knitting and there's balls of wool and they've got their needles but it's a really fun pretty print um it's drawstring at the top and the inside is like white proof so again keeps everything clean and all around the side of it are pockets and in the pockets are crochet hooks so these come with it. I haven't just put these in for show. So we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if you don't know what crochet hook size is to buy, they're in here. Now these are bamboo crochet hooks and they range from a three mil, a little, little one, all the way up to that really chunky seven mil. So it's the same way as the, the knitting, crochet exactly the same. You know, if you need to go up or down a size of hook, it's very useful to have all of them. 
Oh, so who's, who was that? Somebody's, Kirsty's just said she knits socks when she's on holiday. That's a really nice thing to do, isn't it? Because you just need the one ball of yarn, so you don't have to take too much stuff. So if you are, there's also bigger pockets on the side, so you can put other things in them. And it's all got a drawstring top with a nice fabric tie. So you can put everything you need in there, all your crochet. So if you know somebody who wants to start crochet, maybe, you know, you want to cheat, teach your... your your niece or your nephew or your grandchildren or your auntie you know you could fill this put some yarn in it and a pattern it's got all the crochet hooks in it already and it just it's lovely isn't it I think it's important we spend so much time on our craft and so much energy it's nice to have beautiful things to store it in not plastic bags but not um don't put it in carrier bags down the side of the sofa. Put it in a nice bag like this. That's so lovely, isn't it? And all of these, actually, I had all of this, all of these accessories in the studio with my wool bag because you can get them all in. I know they all wondered where everything was because I put it all into this one bag. But what a useful bag! You can get so much in there. I'm doing this. Um, I'm crocheting a really big blanket at the moment, a temperature blanket, and I've had to get another bag to put it in. But actually. The whole thing would fit in this with the yarn. But it's just for any... I mean, I know it says wool on it. You could use it for anything you want, you know. You, you could use it for um, for shopping with. But it is... It's also got... You can't, I'm not sure that you can see very well. It's got a slight um, silvery fleck on it. So there is a very, very subtle metallic thread running through it. I don't know whether you can see that. Does it shimmer a bit? slightly but it, i mean it's not it's not glittery but it's just got this very very slight you see it it's a slight sparkle in the light there you are you can see them there you can just see one but it is it's one of those things it's subtle it's not a glitter bag but it does um it just does have that slight shimmer but it's just lovely because it's very sort of hessian and roof note but again gifting if you've got to buy something for somebody to, for for christmas that's perfect but i would just buy it for yourself should we do some gadgets then? Oh, where am I going to start? I'll tell you what I'm going to start with is this um, blocking board. Because I had a message. Um, oh, I did bring a pair of scissors with me to cut this open. Um, from one of our fans on Yarn Lane who said, what is the best thing to block your crochet with? And I said, well, funnily enough, we've got that on air. This is super. You will get yours ready packaged, not cut up. They, God, there won't be any damage to this. This is super packaging. It's like really, really stiff. So if you crochet, or if you don't crochet, but you want to know, when you crochet squares, quite often they can be slightly out of shape. They can end up as slight diamonds when you finish with them. I should have brought a crochet square with me. And then you sew them all together in a blanket, and then you blanket slightly off. Now, this is one of the finishing techniques that... It's a bit like pre-washing your fabric if it's so you don't always want to do it, but it makes a world of difference. So when you've finished your square, you can just damp it slightly by spraying it with some warm water and then just um, put it between, I usually put it in a towel either side just to remove the water. Then you can place it on this board and it comes with all these little wooden pins, 12 of them. And then you just, because of your, your crochet square has got holes in it, you can just push them through here and into here. And obviously the beauty of this blocking board is it does all sizes of squares. And then you just leave it overnight because if you've only just sprayed it, it's fine. But this is just enough. You can, if it's not too out of shape, you only need them in each corner. If it's a lot out of shape, you need them all the way around. But this is just the perfect thing. It's one of those tools that only does one thing. It blocks pieces and puts them back into shape, but it does it really, really well. We did a show on Monday when I was presenting that was um, sewing gadgets like that. It only does one thing, but it does them really, really well. So if you need to block your crochet, well, all your knitting, but obviously smaller, I mean, particularly granny squares, which is ideal for beginner, this is a really good thing. I mean, most granny squares are about four inch, so you could get four on here. And it just, once you've then stretched them back in shape, when you sew them all together, you will have a much better, more professional finish. So if you're going to... Um, be doing some crochet or you do crochet already then this is one of those pieces of equipment that's really worth treating yourself to that you can see I should have bought one with me but you've seen the picture that's how you do it but a really really useful it's 30 centimeters or 12 inches <coughs> but I 
I'd been crocheting for a while and I what did I, I think I made a, a granny square blanket and I didn't block them and it looks a bit sort of lumpy and bumpy and misshapen then I read about blocking so I used to pin them to my ironing board because um, you can push pins down through it but then I couldn't use my ironing board for overnight or the next few days this is ideal and what you can do you see is say in an evening you've crocheted four squares before you go to bed block them the next morning they're all done and then you're ready to do it so you can just take tapering them on, on and off and on and off rather than doing them all in one go but it is one of those pieces of equipment that is really perfect for crocheting right what shall we do next I'm going to go on to one of these accessory kits. I really like this. This is the knitting accessory set. We've got a lot of these products individually as well. But I chose this set because it's all together. And it comes in a little zip purse. Isn't that nice? So you can keep them all in there. So you can pop those into your bag. And always keep that with you because it's a little zip purse. And all the things in here are really, really useful. So we've got in here point protectors because when you've done your knitting, I've got a little bit of knitting here. I'll just get my knitting out. Oh, all caught up. Um, you don't want your knitting to fall off or I was fine when I keep them in a bag. They, um, I, when I put them in a bag, I find they stick through. But these point in here, there are two sets of point protectors, big ones for bigger needles and little ones for little needles. Now, I'll show you in a minute, but we also sell the point protectors as a separate product. So we'll talk about that in a minute, but you can buy them separately. So that's what point protectors, not, I don't, ha don't actually own some of these, and I didn't even know they did them. So what a brilliant thing, because you can keep them all neat. Um, we've then got stitch markers, which are really useful, obviously, for knitting and crochet when you want to mark your place. Say you've got to um, knit 50 rows and you want to keep counting them, you can use them to mark, you just loop them round, you can use them to mark where you are, you just loop, and because they're locking, you loop it through and then you just lock it. Or if you're doing a pattern and you want to mark, maybe you're doing a cable pattern on like an Aran jump or something and you want to mark where the cable is, you can just put them through and you can put them through as you go along. You can actually knit over them. You can knit while they're on there. They work perfectly well. So if, say I was going to do another row. What am I on? Knit. Um, if I was going to do another row, that you see, you can, oop, if you actually do it, you can actually knit with them on there. Now everyone who's watching is going, why does she knit like that? My mum always says that. Because she knits properly. She says, I don't knit properly. Because you should knit with in one motion. I can't do that, though. I've always knitted like this. And then when you get to the next one, you see you can knit with them on. And then so if I, f if I go to there, you can see now. Look, and there's that, the stitch marker. You've got loads of them in here. They're obviously really good for crochet as well. So if you're doing crochet in the round, which I've done here, like amigurumi, you need to mark the beginning of your row. I've got a little stitch marker there. So there's lots of them and they're in different colours as well. So if you wanted to mark, you know, different points of things, you need some in some colour. And even although they all come in a bag, the stitch markers have their own bag as well. So it keeps them all together. One of those really, really small, inexpensive gadgets that's extremely useful. And this is all for 99 coming in. You've also got um, the sew your darning sewing in an ends needle and a narrower needle, depending on whether you're sewing something up or you're sewing ends in. You've got the double-ended stitch holder, which is brilliant, because when you want to put stitches on holders, say you're knitting, um, you're going to be putting in the neckline and you need to hold some stitches, you can buy get stitch markers that are just like massive safety pins. And I don't know if you're like me, I always end up putting them in the wrong way and I want to knit from the other end, so I have to take them all off again. These are double-ended, so you can, once you've put slipped your stitches on, you can take them off both ends. That's really useful because they're also nice and flexible, so, so that if you want to... Um, if you're knitting and you want to see, you know, you want you're moving it around, they are flexible and they won't break. Also, God, we're spending ages on this. You've got a row counter that you slip that you slip on the end of your knitting needle, or you can just keep by your side if you're doing crochet when you want to keep a count of your stitches and it just turns round if you've done so if you've done fifty you can use it to count rows or stitches. 
What I use these for is often um, when I'm casting on, if I've got to cast on 173 stitches and I don't want to count them, I'll just say every 10, I'll turn this round one. So, Because it's easy in your head to count 10, but once you get to 173, you've forgotten. So I often use it for casting on. So you can use it for counting rows or stitches. Um, you get two of those stitch holders in here. You get a tape measure, obviously really useful for measuring how many rows you've done. But you've also got an, um, an, a needle measure, which is brilliant because sometimes you can't remember if the number is rubbed off your needles, you can't remember which is which, you can just poke them th these through the holes. So, you know, if you don't know what the number is, because sometimes if you've got an old, or if you've got older needles that have got different numbers, then maybe they've got US sizes or they've got the old UK sizes, you just, you just slip your needle through here. But like it's, it's like for measuring, it's not like measuring pasta. And then you just slip that through there and which size you can then see which size it is. So that all comes. So you get the needle guide, two stitch markers, a row counter, two needles, a tape measure, one, two, three, four point protectors and a pack of stitch markers for 19.99. That is everything you will ever need. I need to move all my stuff. I'm making a real mess here. And then it all comes in this bag and it's actually even got a little instruction, well not an instruction booklet, but it, a little booklet telling you what's what. So this is great if you're starting your journey or if you're like me and you already do and you think, well I haven't got any point protectors, I haven't got those all in one place. Brilliant gift or just buy it for yourself and everything's in there. So that is the complete knitting accessory set. We've also got the sock knitting accessory set for people who love knitting socks. Perfect for this. So in here you have got you've got little stitch markers because obviously often the yarn that you're knitting socks is now is finer like a four ply. And Look at that. They're like locking. They lock, but they're really fine and they're bendy. So they were and they're two different colours of them. So they you can use them to identify things. And obviously, as you're stick as you're knitting, and then you take them off and you finish, you put them back and keep them in there. Also got the rings. Now these are great if you're again, say you're casting on and you want to mark every few stitches or you're marking a pattern, rather than if you don't want to put the stitch marker, you can just slip this onto the end of your knitting needle. And then you can knit along a bit and then slip another one on. They come in two different colours. So they're really good and you can then slip them off as you go along. They're just perfect to just marking because, you know, and particularly for casting on when you want to count how many. So if you're not using your row counter, you can slip these on. They're good for marking all sorts of things. Sometimes you need the locking stitch markers, but sometimes these little ring markers are just brilliant because they're very quick, very, very quick and easy. Um, I'll put those back in and they come in two colours which is quite useful because you want to might want to mark them for different things green and purple um, now obviously quite often socks are knitted on f double pin pointed needles and to stop when you want to hold them together or stop them apart these are point protectors and holders and they've got four holes in so you can put all your four double pointed needles and you can put them either end to just keep your needles together or also just to protect them so you can put them over the end you could put you could put two needles, one and two the other, and that just holds the whole thing together. And then finally, what you obviously need for socks are needles for sewing in your ends and sewing it up. So it's just a really, really useful little pack of everything you need for knitting socks. So if you know someone who likes knitting socks and you want to buy them a sock kit, that's a brilliant thing to have. I love knitting socks. I don't like turning heels, but I do like knitting socks. And then finally, of these accessory sets. This is for beginners. So you haven't got as many complex things as in the whole accessory set. So this one is a little less expensive. Um, and in the beginner set, you get a pair of point protectors. You get big knitting rings because this are for the larger size needles. You get the little ones that are in the sock one for the smaller size needles. Well, that, and then you also get your stitch markers. So for beginners, you know, it stops their knitting falling off their needles, but also stops it poking through the bags. Depending on whether they're doing chunky knitting or finer knitting, you've got the rings for that and the little stitch stitch markers. Right. 
What should we do next? Oh, I love these. Let's do these next. It's like it's like being in a shop, isn't it? This is this is my shop. Yeah. So if ever I owned a knitting shop, then yes, then I would have all this. But nobody could buy anything because I need it all myself. Um, knitting pins. Now, when I'm when I'm pinning together sleeves to add into a jumper or anything that you want to add in that you want to sew together i usually use normal pins and as anyone knows if you use normal pins they just disappear in your knitting these these oh these are bamboo knitting pins now you can use them for marking things if you needed to mark say you were knitting a toy and you wanted to mark where the eyes were going to go you can use it for that but you can just oh i pulled all them off but because they've got rounded ends they just slip in your knitting really well so if you wanted to put um, pin two pieces together these are perfect because they don't they won't um, split your stitches they won't mark it they're really easy to see so when you want to knit sew two pieces together these are perfect so they're one of those just little accessories that are a really lovely thing to have and at 8.99 you get 10 bamboo and they are just perfect so again really useful accessory for yourself something that you might not already have or might not have already seen or some or something that somebody else would really like but this is something that i shall definitely be having is about yeah i mean this is all about it's us being able to show you and bring things to you that you might not have seen or be able to get hold of but just a really useful but great stocking filler you're going to make a stocking for someone you know also because they're really chunky if you know anyone who does those really sort of big chunky knits they're perfect for sewing those up because there's nothing else that you can pin the big chunky knits together other than that um but also there's another pack of pins these are knitting these are used for pinning garments together but all for also for marking um these are, look a bit like the um sewing flower pins but they've got blunt ends because obviously in knitting we don't want sharpness unlike sewing so these again you can use for marking positions on places so you need to mark where you're going to do things or you could um you know marking where you're going to do something rather than marking with yarn but also if you're going to sew something together so for the finer knits this is perfect because they've got the blunt ends and they're long and they and also they're visible if you use normal dressmaker pins for so for pinning your garments together then you know that they often get lost and you can't see them but these are ideal so nice little treat for yourself that's what i would say I, that's why i chose these specifically 3.99 treat they're for treating myself look they offer you know and if you're doing some you know a finer knit the, the bamboo ones will be fine as well but these are particularly good you get 10 pins in that one as well um you remember i said to you earlier about the point protectors that are in the pack if you want to buy them just on their own the blue ones are for needle sizes two to five mils and the pink ones are for needle sizes four and a half to ten so with that pack that will pretty much cover anything so if you do ever knit on the go or you find your knitting falls off or it pokes through the corners of your bag because you put them in a plastic bag this is ideal um, in that pack as well we had row counters but here i've got just a pack of a small row counter and a big row counter um, the reason that there's Let's take them out. Let's take them out. Then they're mine, aren't they? And that's how it works, because everything I take out of the package belongs... No, it doesn't. Um, the reason that they're different diameters is depending on the diameter of your needle. So if you've got uh, smaller needles, you'll need the little ones, because you want them on the end of your needle. When you're knitting, you want to pop them on the end of your needle so that you can easily turn it round as you go obviously you can use them for crochet as well but you don't put them on the end of your hook because they'd fall off but does that one fit on there no see that's too wide and that would be really annoying wouldn't it if you only had one i know it just does but it won't go right to the end so by having two in a pack only 2.99 but really useful because as you're knitting they're quite light as well that's not really adding a lot of weight to my needle you can just it's probably best to have them the way around to face you as well not the other way around you can just turn them around tens of units and actually these turn really easily they're not really stiff because there's nothing more annoying i mean i you know it, it you can count knitting but it's not 
it's so much easier if you just remember to do your rows but you could also if you wanted to count stitches in rows you could use the one that's on your needle for the counting the rows and if you needed to count your stitches you could just keep this one beside you in your pocket and use that one for counting the stitches because sometimes, particularly when you're doing fair isle or you're doing cable knit, you need to count the stitches. So you could do, you could use them for both. So that's the row counters. Um, stitch markers. Now, if you want stitch markers that are a bit, look, oh, they're mine. They're mine now. Um, yeah, they're mine now. If you want stitch markers, the plastic ones are lovely, but these are just lovelier. Aren't they lovely? What a lovely gift. So again, these are actually hand-coloured as well. They are beautiful. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Use them in exactly the same way. You can put them round your needle to mark your stitches. Shall I lay them flat on the table? Can you see them better like that? But what a lovely little gift for three ninety nine. I mean, they're just, you know, that you can use the plastic um locking ones but these are just pretty aren't they and it's, it's nice to have pretty accessories and i always think you know it's, it's like buying you know you can use just normal needles but when you've got beautiful needles that have got glass beaded ends it's just a little bit of a treat like having a really nice bookmark i smooth them up so i mean you know they're not terribly expensive 3.99 for five but they're just a lovely thing so some of the products I chose were very useful and some were just lovely as well. Um, these, I like, I chose these, the Knit Pro. Um, they, oh, I can't think what the ID tags. Sometimes, particularly if you're using, I had one earlier, particularly if you're using a um, cable needle, cable needles often don't have the size need, size on them. They're in the packet with the size on, but they're often not on here. And if you take them out of the packet and put them away, you don't you don't know what number they are. So you um, take your ID markers out of the packaging, and they come in a little bag as well, which is useful. And it's got all the numbers on here, all the sizes of all the different needles. So what you can do, you can take them out. I can't remember what size they are because I've taken them out of the pack. These, but say they were nine mil. You can then slip these onto here and you remember what they are. They'll go on. And you can put them on the ends of your needles as well. So they're just really useful. They're particularly good for, you can buy um, cable needle sets which have removable ends. And you can swap the ends and the, c the cables. And if you can't remember which ends you've got on, you use them for that. So if you've forgotten what number size your needles are and what they've got on one size they've got the size so that one is five and a half mil and on the back us nine so i guess you know if you're using us size needles but they've they cover us and uk so they're really useful for remembering what size needle you're on, particularly for cable needles or you could even just put them in the packet with them but particularly for um, cable needles that have got removable tips we'll move on to the cable needles removable tips on another show because they're very useful. I like them. Right, so um, let's do some knitting needles. Knitting needles. I like that. Like this one because I like the um, print on it. It's called Chicken Stitch. Yes. Now I have also selected a bag that matches this, but it hasn't arrived yet. It hasn't arrived. But it will. So, in this is an. This is a needle roll. Let's show you how it works. We'll open it up and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. There's eight pairs of needles, bamboo. They're actually the same needles that are in the sheepy bag. Um, but this is the needle roll. So they range from three mil to six. No. So that's three, three point to no, four, four point five. Yeah, so they go from three to six. And then you just roll it up this way. And, and tie it up. Okay. So the pat the print and then you just and then you tie it into a bow. So the print on that I really like this. You've got a background that's knitting. And then it's got chicken. Chicken knitting. And one of them's trying to, one of them's trying to lay a ball of wool. I wonder what you get if you lay a ball of wool. Do you get your tiny little balls of wool? Maybe. Maybe you get a sheep. Maybe the chicken's open for a sheep if it sits on a ball of wool. 
egg cups with balls of wool. It's just a really nice knitting print, but a lovely, lovely set of needles. I like, as you can see, because these are my needles that I brought from home, I like bamboo needles. They just feel nice. They're just sort of, they're very soft. They're slightly bendy. They're very, very light. So if you struggle at all with needles being heavy at all, they are ever so light. They have a little bit of give in them. It's quite useful. They've got the numbers printed on them. I think there's just something very special about bamboo needles. But they are lovely. Really like bamboo needles. So that's a nice set. Again, gift for yourself. I feel like we're saying buying gift for other people. Um, I have got two sets of i've got the traditional woolen yarn needles so these are just for sewing up sewing ends in but i've got these these are actually called bodkins i really like these because these are perfect for well i did have a really thick oh i know what i did with it i thinking i had a really thick um ball of yarn but i put it in here didn't i there it is there it is. So when you want to sew something up with these needles, these are just your standard needles, always useful to have proper woolen yarn needles. Don't try and use sewing needles, you'll never get them in. But if you're trying to sew together something that's a little bit chunkier, these bodkins are perfect. So I wonder if we can cut off. I'll just cut a bit off. There we go. Um, on the end of it, I don't know, should I put it on the table? Can you get, I tell you, I need to put it on a colour, don't I? It will show up better. Oh, look, it's a piece of purple fabric from earlier. So, oh no, it doesn't even show that. I need dark fabric, don't I? Okay, because I want you to be able to see the loop. Okay, so can you see there's a loop here, which is like a flexible plastic loop? Yeah? So if you've got really chunky yarn, there's no way that's going through those needles, but it will go through here really easily. So if you struggle to thread yarn, look how easy that is, and then you use that to sew in. Even if you're using a really narrow, a really thin yarn, fine yarn, fine, you can do it with that as well, but ever so easy. And you can then sew in with that. So it will fit this really chunky yarn, and a lot of people now are knitting, you know, for very quick knits, are knitting with these much chunkier yarns. At 2 99 you get two of those, and they are they're called bodkins, so you can actually also use them for, um, th if you're a sewer as well, if you want to thread elastic through casings or ribbon through drawer stings, that sort of thing. They are perfect for that as well as for yarn as well. So, I mean, because lots of you, like me, sew and knit and everything else. <gasps> there's, there's a missing... We've had a question on the website. Look, I'm missing a crochet hook. I mustn't lose those. Jackie Ann says, can't wait to start crocheting. <laughs> oh, she wants the soft touch hooks. I love the soft touch hooks because that's, this is mine, this is what I crochet with. Now we do, we, I haven't got them up on the here, but we have got them all on the website. I feel like I put one in my bag as well. But we do have all of the different sizes. Oh, look, here's one. So I, they're not, I haven't got them on here with all the, there's a code here that's um, a four mil. We have got all the different sizes on the website. Now, these are the ones, everyone has their favourite. These are the ones I use. You can tell that because it's a bit, I think I must have chewed it at the end. I can't chew my crochet hook. They're really nice to use. So I would say everyone has their favourite. You can have, you know, inexpensive ones, more expensive ones. I like the, cro the Clover Soft Touch. It, as to size, your pattern will tell you. It depends on what yarn you're using. A four mil hook is just about right for a double knitting yarn, which is what most people tend to crochet with. That's your your standard. This is what I crocheted this with, so that's a three mil. But it's it's the pretty average size of four mil to use with a double knit yarn. When we had Helen in on Monday, all the crochet that she was doing was with a four mil. So it's perfect, perfect for that. But if you go onto the website and put in the Clover Soft Touch crochet hooks, you will see we've got all the sizes there. You have to scroll down because I've got lots of different ones, but can you see them there? There they are, but they're all different sizes. A four mil is a pretty average one for a double knit, but I tend to have a mixture of them because um, depending on the pattern, in the same way as knitting, if your tension is too tight and too loose, you have to choose it, but a four mil is an average size, so do get one of those. Um, Another one, another one. This is a really nice set because um, really, really useful set for your 
all your yarn makes. So you've got a stitch holder, two stitch holders, which are, there we go, let's fill it in the middle, two stitch holders. Again, ideal for putting stitches on if you need to save some stitches because you're doing the neckline or you just want to hold some stitches. Maybe you need to pinch the needles or something else. You've got wool pins. Wool pins are brilliant, aren't they? So you've got two wool pins there, two millimetre. Again, aren't they lovely? So brilliant for either marking something or for holding together when you're sewing seams. And also two wool needles. Again, they've got the little loops on the top. You can't really see it very well, can you? They because they're clear. They're clear plastic loops. They're not as big as the loops in the bodkins here. So you wouldn't be able to fit the really, really chunky yarn in these. You probably need the bodkins as well. But, you know, they are, they're bigger than a double knit yarn. They're, you know, a chunky or a super chunky you'd get in. But for that really big chunky one I showed you earlier, you'd need the bigger one. But that's just a really nice set. Because it has got, it's got things that you might not already have. You probably, you might not have seen these fab wool needles. There. So all of these tools will be available on the website. These are our sort of standard basics that we're always going to keep in stock so that we've got them. And then what we'll do on future shows is that where they're relevant, because I always have to speak to the designers before they come on air while we're planning the show and say, now, what is it that you would recommend? We don't put stuff on the shows that are going to be useless or just gratuitous. We put things on that actually needed. So on Helen's show on Monday, we put in some of the... Um, we put in the, the right crochet hook and some stitch markers. So these are things that are always essentials that you might like or might need, but they will always live on the website as well. But love that little set. Um, should we do the really clever calculator? I love this. When I saw it and it was a calculator, I thought, oh, it's a calculator. How on earth does a knitting calculator work? I thought it was have to be punching in numbers. It's really clever, actually. So, you know when you're knitting something and you need to knit, I don't know, you've got to knit 103 centimetres and you want to know how many rows that's going to be. What you do is you knit um, slightly bigger than a 5 centimetre square. So maybe uh, like an 8 centimetre square or 10 centimetre square. And this gap here is the 5 centimetre square. So you place that on top of your knitting and you count the stitches across here, how many stitches fits into that square and remember it. And then you count how many rows fits into it. Okay? But I haven't knitted a whole five centimetres. Should have done that before so you could have seen and then you could count it. I only knitted a little bit because I was going to show the stitch markers. So you count it anyway. Then you have, you, there's a little, all the instructions are in here by the way. You have not got to remember this. So in the pack there's all the instructions in several languages that tells you how this actually works. So then you've got this black diamond that says for five centimetres. So you turn that round to how many centimetres. So say you want to, you want, you've got to knit 30 centimetres, okay? You line that up with the 30. How many, you know, you line up how many, so for five centimetres, sorry, wait a minute. For the five centimetres, you line it up. So say um, you've got, this is, that's the number of, sti you know, number of rows. Say you've got, I don't know, you'd probably have t maybe 10 rows, maybe 15, let's put 15 rows. And then you count the stitches and say you've got 17 stitches. So we'll turn that round to number 17. Okay, now you ignore that. And on this side, it will tell you how, if you've got to, um, you want to do, oh, I don't know, 30 centimetres, it will tell you number of rows you're going to have to, knit 92 rows and you will need 105 centimeters 105 stitches that sounds really complicated but basically it's, it is ever so easy if you need to knit quite a lot of centimeters you need to do many stitches and you can't work out how many you've got to do and you don't want to keep measuring it because you, know, you don't want every few rows to have to lay it flat because you when you're measuring knitting you don't want to be stretching it and pulling it out of shape you, you only really want to measure it a few times if you calculate it at the beginning it will tell you exactly depending on your tension because obviously on a pattern it will tell you you need to knit 30 centimetres and it might tell you how many rows but it will be different with your tension of stitching so all the instructions are there but you just measure it out and uh, you know it's just a really simple gadget £4.49 but it will work out for you 
how many rows you need to knit and how many stitches to get to what you want to be. And the instructions are really easy to understand. So, because I've, I've not used one of these before, but when I saw it and I read the instructions, I thought, that's brilliant. It's because you just measure it out and then you can, you can see on this side how many to do. And you can also use it the other way around. You can work how many rows and how many stitches and then how many centimetres. You can do it any way around you want, but it's just one of those little things that will, little gadget, it'll fit in your knitting bag and it's really, really useful. And obviously it does come with full instructions too. So I'm going to pop that back in, into the bag. Yes, and the last one, I think I've done all of them now, except for the knitting thimble. Now, if you ever do um, stranded work, so maybe you knit with more than one colour, like Fair Isle. I think that bit pulls off. I won't take it off just now, but it does come off. Um, say you do Fair Isle or you just knitting with more than one. You... Um, put this on your finger and you know what happens when you're knitting you're changing maybe you're knitting two stitches in one color and two stitches in another color and then they keep getting tangled and knotted up you can pass the yarn through each of these so this will do up to one two three four different colors and it will hold those strands of yarn so it's particularly for fair hour work it's fantastic because it stops it all getting done and as you're knitting so you've got your needles and it depends which whether you're left-handed or right-handed you can then put the strands through there and it just stops and getting tangled up and you having to pick them up. So it's just one, of, it's a really simple, very inexpensive gadget that just works, just works. So I will show this again sometime. I'll have to bring some Fair Isle in with me so you can actually see it in operation. But that's just one of those, just a little gadget that I knew that a lot of you, if you do do Fair Isle knitting and you know what I mean, they do get really twisted and so let's just do, we're going to recap the little, this one, the little green sheet bag. This one, this little bag, this little bag with the sheep. This is lovely, isn't it? This is just a lovely bag. I like it because it's wipe clean. So it's really good if you want to knit on the beach or in your caravan or while you're camping or outside or wherever or you know you just want to keep things clean and you can wipe it down um, it's really good quality as well because it's nicely lined and you can't, you can't see it but I can feel it it's um, slightly padded as well so it will keep it it will hold it all up so you can put your yarn in you could probably cut a few balls in there so if you were knitting with two colours you could get two bar pull balls of yarn in there and then you could pull both colours up through there uh, so if I and it's got a handle so it just zips up all the way around and it's got a handle you can even put your sandwiches in there as well a couple of apples little flask of tea let the steam out through the hole but it's just that you know it's one of those things it has been specifically made for that purpose that's why it's got the hole in it so today is just tools and gadgets, but I just wanted to give you a very small snapshot introduction to what Yarn Lane is about, what we will be stocking and how we're going to be giving you things that you want. So if there is anything that you'd like us to find or show to you or look for, please let us know. So um, we will be back with Yarn Lane on Friday. I'll be back on Friday with Sam from Adventures in Crafting. And she's got some beautiful, beautiful Christmas crochets kits they are for beginners and intermediate as well so she will be showing you some really good if you want to learn to crochet she'll be teaching you how to with great inspiration you are going to really love um, her kit so I will be back with you on Friday at 12 o'clock um, with Sam on Yarn Lane so please join us then and join don't forget to join the fan page tell me what you want to see and what you like and sh give me pictures of what you've made as well i love to see all your other stuff so put them all on instagram follow our instagram too and i'll see you on friday